Hey, welcome back. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Eat it, some Corbin. Coronavirus. Any false Instagram, Twitter for more juicy. Oh, it's so juicy. Thank you for some Patreon phone. Twitter account me blah blah. Bang. Follow someone personally. Yes. Bang. Link description below. Today, uh, what are we doing, Rick? I'm um, enamored with the juicy content and doling it out freely today. Just there's some for you, there's some for you. We are doing a video, an information video, the mystery of the... The mystery of Corbin's mother's thigh. Mystery of the... Kailasa Temple. I think What's it's... the Kailasa Temple? I don't know. I think it's It's temple. a mystery. It is. Cool. Uh, this is from a, a channel called Paravin Mohan. Okay. So... So this is going to be one of those. Oh, from the looks of it, it looks like that temple that's in the st in the built in into rock into the rock. All right, uh, poor Dwayne Johnson. Hey guys, this is Hi. the world famous Kailasa Temple. Yeah, at I Aurora. recognize it. You recognize and it. And let's yes, look objectively into who could have built this amazing structure. Me. By the end of this video, I hope you will agree with me that our history is completely wrong, and that this temple was built by a very advanced civilization. Uh, aliens! A labor union. What's so special about this temple? This temple was not constructed by adding stone blocks, but an entire mountain was carved to create this temple. Mm. This is the only temple in the whole world where a mountain was cut out from the top to create a structure. In all other temples and caves, even in Elora and rest of the world, the rock was cut from the front and carved as they went along. The whole world has followed a rock cutting technique called cut in monolith, while Kailasa Temple is the only one that has used the exact opposite technique called cut out monolith. To see why this rock cutting technique is so different, let's take a look at this pillar that's over 100 feet tall. Notice how small human beings look when compared to this pillar. Normally, to create such a huge pillar, it would take years of work carving accurately on a huge rock. But this pillar was carved by scooping out all the pieces of mountain around it. You can imagine the amount of rock which has been removed to create this pillar. Historians and archaeologists are confused because of the sheer amount of rock that was removed in this temple. Archaeologists confirm that over 400,000 tons of rock had to be scooped out, which would have taken not years, but centuries of human labor. Historians have no record of such a monstrous task and they think that this temple was built in less than 18 years. Let's do a simple math and see if historians could be right. I'm going to assume that people worked every day for 18 years and for 12 hours straight with no breaks at all. I'm going to ignore rainy days, festivals, wartime, and assume that people work like robots ceaselessly. I'm also going to ignore the time taken to create Damn. intricate carvings and complex engineering design and planning and just focus on the removal of rock. If 400,000 tons of rock were removed in 18 years, 22,000 tons of rock had to be removed every year. This means that 60 tons of rock was removed every day, which gives us five tons of rock removed 
every hour. <laughs> I think we can all agree that it's not even possible today to remove five tons of rock from a mountain every hour. There's no way it was built in Not even years. with these so-called no. advanced machines we have. So if it's not humanly possible, was it done by humans at all? Ooh. Was this created <laughs> with the help of extraterrestrial intelligence? Now, forget about creating such an extraordinary structure. Can human beings at least destroy this temple? In fact, yeah, Aurangzeb, a Muslim king, employed a thousand workers to completely demolish this temple. In 1682, he ordered that the temple be destroyed so that there would be no trace of it. Why? Records show that a thousand people worked for three years and they could only do a very minimal damage. They could you break and disfigure a few <laughs> statues here and there, but they realized it's just not possible to completely destroy this temple. Aurangzeb finally die. gave up on this impossible <laughs> task. Yeah. Note that this attempted destruction is very similar to another mysterious structure called the Menkaris Pyramid in Egypt. Another Muslim ruler wanted all the pyramids to be destroyed and started his work from the Menkaris Pyramid. After years of trying, he was only able to make a small dent on the pyramid. He gave up too, where all these indestructible structures the around the world yeah, created drunk. by these extraterrestrials. Yeah. Is that why I can't human beings them, are not even able to destroy them? Well, currently In fact, archaeologists agree that Kailasa Temple was created before any other temple in the Ellora Cave Complex. Could this have been built crazy centuries yeah. before like, human insane. beings started carving other temples nearby? Is this why the architecture, the design, and the size is so much better and bigger than other temples? If it was built by humans, it's logical to expect that the rock cutting techniques and design would become better over time people would gain more experience and knowledge and make better structures in the future. However, the Kailasa temple is the oldest and the biggest temple carved with engineering perfection. Unlike other temples, the Kailasa is the only temple that's visible from the air. Out of 34 temples, all carved side by side, Kailasa temple stands out and you can see it while flying over it. Is this just a coincidence? Or was it designed for Aliens. people to see from the air, <laughs> like Nazca Lines of Peru? Even on Google Earth, the aerial view of Kailasa Temple clearly shows an X mark. This is how it looks from the top, and you can see a circular design that is studded with four lines that create this huge X mark. That's how aliens was go this created <laughs> as a signal for extraterrestrials yes. who can spot the location while flying. Or just look Unlike temple. other temples of Elora, notice how well its rectangular design is oriented with all the four directions. Its entrance faces perfectly to the west. Is this another coincidence too? Unlike most other there temples of Elora, this temple has bridges that connect towers. So the aliens can walk across. Rainwater harvesting systems. Oh, that's great. Drainage systems. Oh, wow. Hidden underground passages. The Egyptians had a sewage system. Yes, they did. Secret peepholes that ah, can show people walking in. Perverts. Oh, that's not what that was for. Elaborate balconies in different areas <laughs> and complex stairways that connect people. multiple levels. And all of this had to be stairways. planned accurately before they started carving the mountain. They clearly have knees. For example, you cannot carve these two structures separately and then decide to build a bridge later. Why? No connecting rocks 
or external rocks were used at all, and everything was carved perfectly right. from one mountain. <laughs> Do you still believe that this was done with chisels, hammers, and pickaxes by people with limited mathematical and architectural knowledge? I hope we can all agree that the Kailasa Temple was built by a much advanced civilization, whether it originated in Earth or elsewhere. I'm finding a lot of mysterious places like this, so please do subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Aliens! <laughs> I love History Channel does this all the time too. Like they'll they'll do like a video on something and right. then they'll bring in the alien guy. <laughs> Yeah. Was it extraterrestrial? <laughs> no. It, it is it is crazy. This, yeah. This temple and we don't know like how the pyramids. Like, just like we don't know how they did that. Right. With the technology and the right. intellect that they had back then. Right. But I, I mean I guess that you know, people are more inclined to believe aliens than I am. I just I believe there are aliens. I just don't believe they've been here. Because why? I, Why come here I just, and then leave? I just, I'm not convinced based on the arguments presented. Oh yeah, no, I don't know about that. You know, I, yeah, that, that give me give me some other arguments to present that would lead me to believe something of an extraterrestrial activity. This construction, why would, we, uh, for example, the amount of tonnage of rock that was removed? I did was did he give a reason why he just picked 18 years for a time frame of for have it be built? I think archaeologists. Said that they or, built it. In 18 historians years? said they think it was built in eighteen years. Okay, based on I guess the archaeological age of the rock at the top versus the rock at the bottom. I don't know chiseling marks, something like that. Yeah, um, yeah, it's an incredible design. Yeah, I don't know how it was built. Like, uh, and maybe it was aliens. I don't know. But based on the 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 argument, no, I don't. I don't. I didn't like the bridge. Like they had whoever built it had a plan. Um, humans have plans. Yeah, I, there, yeah, there was a plan. Um, I don't know how it was built at all, and it's crazy the way they did it. Like yeah. the, the how detailed this temple is is yeah. insane. And that it was built from and out of uh, a mountain like that. So they had to have a plan, obviously digging, right. digging in. in and around, and saying, "Okay, let's do that. We've got this area." I don't find it odd that I mean most. Religious structures and temples, uh, like for example, the, the the both the movable temple and the temple of Solomon for the children of Israel, had particular things that needed to face north, south, east, and west. Aliens. Yeah, that's that does that in and of itself is not enough to point me in the direction of an alien made it just because the entrance faces west. I love how it's always like with the pyramids because they line up with the stars, right? And the people are like, is it so they know where to land? It's like why did why like they could do that, but they don't know where to land. Like they're. <laughs> <laughs> Their technology is not uh, good enough to know yeah. where to land. <laughs> and if that's the case, how did they land to do the work if they needed to know how to land? I don't. We're going to have to land here and build something so that we know how to land here. <laughs> Got it, guys? <laughs> but regardless, I still incredible don't Incredible yeah, structure. I, like, uh, nothing and, about the structure. The structure's still crazy, and I don't yeah. know how they did it. And yes, there are... Uh, I don't know about the argument. No, that was given. I'm not convinced by no. the argument that this was created by extraterrestrials. Like some, like there's like the, the, at the end of his video, there's like the mysterious rock, right? Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> but there's rocks like that that like they have no mountain around <laughs> or no nothing. Yeah. But there's a massive rock, right? Just sitting, sitting on something there. And they're like, did the aliens bring the rock here so they can know where to land? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Land by that rock. <laughs> They're not good at directions. They're landmark based directions is what aliens are good. <laughs> Land by the big rock. You'll see it. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll see it. <laughs> Anyways, that was really cool. The, that's the, the, the temple that's what it is. Cool. They don't have really good eyesight. Mm. Yeah. They need a good How do we know where to land? Just look for the big rock, Andy. The big rock. Let us know more spooky alien temple things. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs>